Today I'll be showing you how to do my half moon jewel encrusted manicure. Today I used Barry M's navy blue, Models own nail art pen, Models own aqua splash glitter polish and Leighton Denny's corrector fluid or you can use nail varnish remover and of course a Sedgwick top coat which I always use. Firstly, always paint a base coat to prep your nail. Now you're going to begin painting the semicircle or the half moon at the base of your nail. Just go really slowly and do it in two halves so it's extra neat and make sure that they all look really uniform. If you make any mistakes, you can always just use your Leighton Denny Corrector Fluid to neaten it up or your nail varnish remover. Now you're going to paint on your base colour, going as close to the black line as possible without going over it of course. If you're not as confident in doing big strokes like me, then here's a tip. Just blob your colour along the black line before doing your big strokes, just to improve your accuracy. And of course, if you do make any mistakes, then you can just grab your latent Denny Corrector Fluid or your nail polish remover or whatever and just wipe them away. I love the latent Denny Corrector Fluid because it's so fast at getting rid of nail polish without having to drag it seven times. Now you can leave it plain or you can blob loads of glitter on top like I did to create the gem effect. Make sure that you do cover every inch of your nail to ensure that the manicure looks really professional and really gem-like. So it looks something along the lines of this. You're then going to put on your top coat, ensuring that you emphasise putting a lot at the empty part of your nail so that it's all really even and, you know, looks like a manicure as opposed to like this bumpy thing. Especially the top coat is really good for this. And there you have it, your gem-encrusted half-moon manicure. Thanks for watching. Bye.